All right, guys. Well, the votes are in. Eight bit of blue has tallied them up. You guys uh, predominantly requested the 357 Magnum, so that's what we're going to go with. You also chose the target to be armor plating, so we have four class one ceramic armor plates bind it together with steel plates in between which gives you a class four armor plating so this is a ceramic armor plating and uh we're going to use the slug first and then we're going to move on to the hollow points next i'm going to guess if anything makes it through it would be the slug but we shall see in a very shortly so sit tight and we'll get all set up and ready to go all right guys want to Thank you very much for uh, putting in your suggestions and your comments and also uh, giving us what you would like to see uh, fired at. What we have here is something that you can actually buy on Amazon. They're ceramic lightweight armor plates. They're called Level 3A. And they're not that expensive. I took a diamond tip saw off and cut each layer. So we have four layers. And in between each layer is a steel plate backing it. A little uh, bit of information about ceramic armor plates. Ceramic armor plates, they're made of alumina, not aluminum. They're made of alumina, boron carbide, silicon carbide, and titanium diboride. All right. When the uh, hard but brittle ceramic elements are broken into pieces by a projectile, which actually could be a threat to yourself if they're not confined, this is the reason why ceramic armor plates are normally supported by a ductile backing of metal little history behind these, believe it or not, ceramic tiles were introduced back in 1918. Major Neville Monroe Hopkins found that adding a thin layer of enamel to metal uh, plates greatly improved its ballistic properties. Its first operational use wasn't until the Vietnam War, which is pretty fascinating, in which helicopters fre frequently came under small arms fire. In 1965, ceramic body armor was given to helicopter crews and hard-faced composite armor kits added to their pilot seats. By the following year, ceramic vests and airframe-mounted ceramic armor plates were deployed in Huey helicopters. These improvements were estimated to have a decreased fatality rate by 53% and a non-fatality rate by 27%. One of the first patents of armor, ceramic armor was filed in 1967 by Goodyear Aerospace Corporation. <clears throat> so we're going to get this set up. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot the back side of this and see if the projectile comes through and kills 8-bit. All right, guys, we're going to start off with a 357 slug, which is actually sitting next to the uh, target. And let's see if it penetrates through three ceramic plates. All right, guys, well, the target went flying over, and we're going to see if Bit of Blue is safe here. We got 8-Bit. He's upside down. Let's take a look at our entry. Here we go. Four plates. Four ceramic armor plates. Entry point. No exit. It did uh, separate the epoxy here, but I don't see any penetration through. So... That's really nice. Um, let's see how deep it did go, though. All right, so we're going to look at how deep this is. This is two inches, by the way. Two inches of ceramic plate. 
and it looks like you've only got about a half inch of penetration so that's pretty decent considering it came from ebay <laughs> we'll move on from the slug to the hollow point 357 hollow point and we will see what happens all right guys we are back this time we are going to be using the 357 hollow point versus the uh, three layers of ceramic armor plates here we go Once again, our target is down. We're going to see if there's any damage to 8 bit of blue here, and there is not. He is perfectly fine. Let's look at the entry for the hollow point. Here's the hollow point, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can actually see the hollow point in there. So the hollow point didn't make as much penetration as the slug did. But there you go. The answer to the question is a 357. 357 Magnum will not penetrate through four layers of this ceramic armor plating.